All right, welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm going to share a tutorial on how to use Discord as a platform for online learning. Discord is an app for gamers. They use Discord as a third-party voice client so they can play games and at the same time having a voice chat with their friends. It supports video call, sharing screen, voice chat, and text. But the focus here is to use the voice chat feature only for discussion or delivering a presentation. Because what I noticed, the problems that emerge in online learning are a slow internet connection and data consumption. Here Discord has been recognized with its stable connection and since we're only going to use voice chat, it won't consume lots of internet data. Not like using a video conference, which usually takes around 1 gigabyte for just one meeting. Discord is also available for personal computers Windows, Android, and iOS. But for teachers, I recommend you use the Windows version. So use laptop because it has more features than the one on the smartphone. So in this video, I'm going to be the teacher. I will create the video for students later for part two. So download the software first, install it, and don't forget to register for the account. And here's the interface. We will start by creating a server. You can also rename it. For example, English. And your server is ready. Next, you can copy the link here and share it with the students. So we are now in the chat room, indicating that the teacher here, you are now on the right side, here is in the chat room. And to be able to perform voice chat, we have to click on this part, general, and join the chat. And it's already connected here. There are indicators indicating the signal of the connection, and it's green, it's pretty good. Next, we have to ask the students to join this server. We have already sent the link to the students, and then they will be in this chat room on the right side. So you have to ask your students to join the voice chat by clicking the general voice channel, just like what the teacher does. And here's the list of one of the students who has already joined in the voice channel will be in the same room here, on the left side, voice channel, with the teacher too. So the teacher and students are ready to start the online learning. They can talk to each other by voice chat, but I have some tips because sometimes the teacher or the students is in a crowded place, it's so noisy. There's a feature here to turn off microphone, so the teacher, when he's explaining the material, it's better for him to ask the students to turn off their microphone. For example, here it will appear an icon, indicating that the student is being mute, or the teacher can also force mute the student's microphone. And the same thing applies to the teacher. Probably when the students are delivering a presentation, the teacher can also turn off their microphone by clicking on this mute. There is also a video call feature here, but it only works if the participants are less than 25. And the teacher can also share his screen here. Go live. Or for the easiest way, send the file to the students and ask them to open it while listening to the teacher's explanation. So it will consume fewer internet data compared to video streaming or watching a shared screen. Last, when the class is over, the teacher can leave the voice chat by clicking on this disconnect. So you won't be hearing any voices because this app also works overlay in the background. So that's the tutorial on how to use Discord for online learning. Don't forget if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you and see you next time.